Money Fail YouTubers, my name is Bo. I'm Straight, and today I'm here to teach you a little bit about Windows computers. Now, one of the biggest things to help improve your Windows experience and overall keep your computer faster, when you are installing something such as this software right here, they'll usually have an express or a custom install. You are always, always, always going to want to do this custom install because if you'll notice, if I hit this custom install, this is what it would have done if I just hit the express. So it, it's over. It's it's just going to install crap on your computer, and it'll change a whole bunch of settings. And there's no need for that. So you're just going to want to uncheck all that. There you go. Okay, that. That is the biggest tip that I could ever give anyone who has ever owned a Windows PC. The next thing that I'd like you to know about PCs is that you are never ever supposed to shut off the power. If you unplug your computer or if you have a laptop, press and hold the power button, it'll just shut off. That can be damaging to computers. In fact, I've had a point where I did that and my mouse drivers didn't work anymore. I had to reset my computer to just normal default. So if you want to shut down... Now, there are occasions where you'll have to do that because you have zero control over your computer if your computer locks up usually wait somewhere between 15 to 30 minutes to make sure that it's 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 the computer that's screwing up and not you because you don't want to screw up your computer and you know just come over here hit shut down on whatever you know whatever OS you have so another thing you're really gonna want to do is you want to can it back boo so another thing that you're really gonna want to do is you're so another thing that you're really going to want to do is you're going to want to keep your Adobe Flash Player up to date. This may seem menial, but these updates really do matter. There are Flash is used on pretty much anything, and if you visit a site that has malicious intent, just by having an outdated Flash on your computer, it can install a virus on your computer. I've had a few friends that this happened to, uh, but a simple install of Avast fixed their problem. And that's another thing. Avast is a very powerful, in my opinion, a very powerful antivirus, and it's completely free. If you're going with AVG or anything like that, those have, I hate AVG because they're the ones that will sneak into those programs and install into your computer without your permission. And I, I don't like AVG. Go with Avast. Avast is overall one of the greatest programs I've ever used. I've been using it for well over a year now, and it doesn't use near the, the processing power that uh Norton takes and it doesn't take it doesn't take money like Kaspersky does and I'm so glad that uh I found this program just in time before my Kaspersky uh thing renewed cuz that would have been awful. So another program that you're really going to like is a program called Malwarebytes. If you've already if you already have a computer that you don't want to have to restart uh, all over with this is a great program for trying to get rid of those itty bitty pieces of software that are either bogging down your computer or are just being a total penis head in your face CC cleaner is a fantastic program for trying to clean out your computer of those files that just aren't needed anymore such as temporary files used by Chrome Firefox Internet Explorer by everything they're just they're left over and at at some times you can have two three gigs on your hard drive that are just junk that literally aren't being used by anything they're just leftovers from websites another thing that this program does is it's a registry cleaner so therefore your registry in computers it's kind of like the address book of everything and let's say that you uninstall a program well sometimes those uninstallers for that program don't get rid of the registry stuff that goes along with it so this program can be used to help that and help increase overall efficiency of your computer the other tool that I seem to like a lot is the drive wiper what you can do is you can select your local C drive and just wipe the free space onto your computer but you're gonna want to do this after you defrag uh, because if you do it before then there's no point in doing this what it'll do is it'll basically write over the information that's on the drive because when a computer deletes something that stuff is still on the hard drive it just sees it as nothing now instead of normal 
So this program is Smart Defrag, and if you don't know what a defrag is, it's where a program will take all the files on your computer and move them on the physical hard drive to a place where they can spin faster and they can just overall be reached faster. And this is a great program for doing so. This will, if, you, if you've never defragged your computer, this, I guarantee you, will increase efficiency by 15%. And the great thing about Smart Defrag is that, say, I click on something, I can actually do a defrag and prioritize files. So that way, this program will look at the files that you use most and move them into a place that's more convenient and easier to access on your hard drive. Now this is the last program that I'm going to talk about. Slim Drivers is an awesome program that will help keep everything up to date on your computer. You have to do it manually though, which really sucks. If you get the paid version, I'm pretty sure it'll do it automatic. If you get the paid version, I'm pretty sure it'll do it automatically, but we're talking about free stuff today and to overall increase your Windows experience. And this is just kind of stuff that you normally have to do with Windows. Let's start this little scan and hopefully my mic doesn't break up horribly bad. So as you can see, I haven't done a scan in a long time and it's really been a while. I should probably go through and fix all of this stuff uh, one day, but not right now because I'm making a video. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helped me and my channel out. That is all. I actually should move up the highs just a little bit more. Uh, but if I were to turn this off, this is what my voice would sound like. And turn it back on because my voice sounds awesome.